Okay. Um, Kim and I just wanted to uh, create a short video to talk about this new strand that we're having at the conference this year in Asia called the Disrupt Strand. And uh, just wanted to kind of go over what you could expect if you decide to sign up for the Disrupt Strand moving forward and where it kind of came from. And I think to, to start with, Kim, I, I mean, we kind of had this conversation last year at, at NIST um, when we were having the conference there, and it was, you know, one of the one of the things we talk about at Learning Two is how do we continue to move forward? How do we make sure that we stay true to the principles of this conference, which is pushing new ideas? And that's really where we started brainstorming this disrupt strand: is how do we do things different? Um, you know, and and where do we go from there? And so we came up with this different format that is very unstructured. And I think, you know, I, uh, when we started talking, we started borrowing a lot of things that we see in the startup culture around these ideas of disrupts where, you know, companies are or people are brought together to do really interesting things. And so really that's going to be the format of this is the format of this is there's really no format. That's right. And I think the other thing we were thinking about when we are having these conversations is what do we do for the people who really are super engaged in the ideas, they're actively um, doing these things in their schools, and they come to the conference because they want to kind of take that next step, but they're not even actually sure what that next step is, but they know they want to be engaged in hands-on learning, they want to be collaborative, they want to work with their interests or their passions, and they want to actually do something back at their school. And so in addition to kind of moving forward, we also want to make this really action-oriented for those learning to participants who have come to many conferences and really have a lot to offer and really want to collaborate with others. So that kind of unstructured but group element is something that we think is really um, important and powerful. Yeah, so I think the, the way that we're kind of hoping this happens is if you sign up for the Disrupt Strand, uh, that maybe you come with an idea, uh, but even more with more, I think even more than an idea is with something to do. Uh, was something that you want to to do for two, two and a half days of the conference. And what we're going to do is right from the start, we are going to bring everybody from the Disrupt Strand together, and we start to have, we start to form these collaborative groups. And what that looks like, I don't know if we even know yet. Um, it's going to be around interest-based or uh, things that, you know, you even have a skill of doing. Like if a group needs a coder or, or a group needs somebody that's into graphics, um, what does that look like? Where do we go from there? And so, you know, you don't, you won't know anybody else that's probably in the disrupt strand unless some of your friends have signed up. Um, and that that first part is really going to be critical of just allowing people to come together, figure out where the interests lie, and then how do we create this group in a short amount of time that can create something to take back to their schools, to take back into the international world, and move learning forward. I think that's really what we're hoping comes out of this. So once people kind of get to know each other in that first um, evening session, the next two days of extended sessions will be these kind of unconference, unstructured opportunities to kind of work together in this hands-on environment with your group. And what's really cool about that, what we've decided to do with that, is we want to kind of follow the design thinking process, and we want to have facilitators. So Jeff and I will be there to facilitate, and then we'll have two other facilitators at a minimum now, depending on the numbers that we have. And that's uh, Rebecca Madrid and Sam Sherat. Rebecca's at YIS in Japan, and Sam Sherat's at Ishmik in Vietnam. And they're going to facilitate these two days of learning together. And not only will we have all four of us in there kind of working with you, but we're also going to have a team of student reverse mentors from schools in Manila. So as you're developing your ideas and as you're thinking about what could be really powerful and impactful at your school and the team member schools, you're going to get to actually work with students and they can tell you what they think about those ideas from a student perspective. And I think that's really going to be a really powerful point to this, is to be able to sit there, you know, as as educators all the time, we keep saying, well, where are the students in the process? Where are the students in the process? And you're going to have the ability to come together with your group and say, here's something we think is going to be really, really cool. And then you can run over to some students and say, is this really, really cool? Like that, you're going to yeah. have that built into the process. And, and to me, I think, again, that starts to look at the way we disrupt things, the way we start to disrupt uh, learning moving forward. So that's very cool. Let's talk a little bit about the presenting and pitch process then. That we know at Learning2, what we've done in the past is we have these Learn2 talks. And, let, and uh, Kim, can you kind of explain how we see like at the end of this, by the time your group gets done, you're going to pitch your project and how that's going to fit into that kind of Learn2 talk style. 
So what's going to happen is there's going to be a series of pitches where everyone who's in the Disrupt Strand will have an opportunity to pitch to other uh, members of the conference. And it might not be the whole plenary, but it will be different groups throughout the conference. And by the end, we'll have kind of whittled that group down by voting or feedback, or we're not sure how we're going to do it, but however we're going to do it. And at the end, we're going to have two or three or four of the best ideas, and they're going to pitch in front of the whole plenary. And the pitch that people feel will be the most impactful or have the most chance of success or will be the most relevant to the most um, number of participants in the community will win the Disrupt Strand. And what we'd like to have for them is a grant. And that grant will be to actually help them implement whatever they have planned over the last two and a half days. So you can actually take your two and a half days, get funded to do whatever that may be, and then do it over the next school year and come back to learning to the following year and tell us what you did. And so that's really the plan. And, and, and we're hoping that um, one of the things we we're hoping with this with Learning2 is you know, moving Learning2 to, to a nonprofit organization. It allows us now to offer grants in this kind of way that if people can come up with an amazing idea, you're going to have all these other Learning2 educators by the end of the conference starting to vote to say, you know what, a year from now, I want to see if that worked. And what we're going to be able to do is give you grant money to, it could be off, offsetting the cost of a substitute. It could be just paying for time that you and your team, who probably come from different schools anyways, time for you to connect um, and to just do things. And that's kind of our hope um, moving this forward. As you can tell, we don't have everything figured out. Um, it's going to be really messy, which we know good learning is. Um, we will have a lot of it figured out by the time of the conference, but I promise you not everything will be figured out. And if that interests you in being in something new, fresh, the unknown, and you're ready for that kind of challenge and doing something different, then the Disrupt Strand, the disrupt strand is, is right for you. Yeah, and we're kind of seeing it almost as like a conference within a conference. So don't worry. You'll still have time to interact with other conference participants. If your friends aren't ready for the Disrupt Strand and they're in the regular conference, you will still be able to see them at breaks. You will still be able to go to workshops. You will still be able to see student-led workshops and all the other things we have going on in the afternoon. This is really just replacing those extended sessions in the morning. So you will have the best of both worlds. And that's, that's our hope. That's our plan. And so... Um, take a look at the other material that you find here on the Learning2 website, at the conference website, and hopefully we'll get enough people to sign up that we can run the Disrupt Strand this year. All right, great. See you in Manila.